Good morning, afternoon, evening, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and having fun no matter where you are in the world or what time of day it is. It's Lori, and I am going to do your you and them reading. This will be all about the person that's on your mind. Now, my intention is to focus on a romantic relationship. However, if you want to ask um, and focus about a friendship, a career, a business arrangement, whatever, it's whoever you have on your mind, okay? You take it as it resonates. Remember, if it does not resonate, it just means you're, it's not your message this time. Um, don't take on somebody else's issues, okay? Life is hard enough as uh, it is without taking on somebody else's issues, as Jamie from Divinely Canadian will tell you, all right? I hope Jamie's doing well, or her, Jamie's daughter is doing well. Got to check on her again. All right. What we have here is your energy, my lovely, lovely Libras. If you're a returning viewer, you know how this works. If you are new here, this deck will be used for your energy on this side. This deck will be for your person's energy on this side. This deck will be used for the combined energy between the two of you. Now, if we get going and you feel like this side is you and this side is your person, feel free to um, reverse the roles. All right, so your past energies towards this relationship, no further than a month in the past, okay? Um, your current energies towards this relationship and your near future energies towards this relationship, no further than a month into the future, please, spirit. All right, let's get your person's energy. Well, we got a card showing, Knight of Wands. Let's see if that shows back up. We got the Three of Wands. That's four of wands. That's four of wands, huh? What's going on here? Oh my gosh, that's five wands. <laughs> that was the five of wands, literally. All right, let's see what your person's energy was in the near past. No further than a month back, please, Spirit. Their current energies towards this relationship and their near future energies concerning this relationship. No further than a month into the future, please. Spirit. All right. Now let's go ahead and get the combined energies between you and your person. Let's see what the recent past energies combined between you two concerning this relationship. No further than a month back, please, Spirit. Keep it all in the same timeline. Current energies combined between the two of you. Near future energies combined between the two of you. No further than a month in the future, please, Spirit. I always like to start over here with you. Not looking good. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. All right, so you were feeling happy. You thought this was a wish come true. Put a feather in your cap, you did. Got a little arrogant, I'm hearing. Felt feeling a little too good, maybe. Okay, that peacock feather speaks a little bit about ego. No big deal. Hey, you were feeling good. It felt like a wish come to, true. Dream come true. But I'm getting that you received a message or word or something. I'm hearing like, oh, somebody attacked you. Verbally attacked. Not like physically, but verbally attacked you. Um, And you, you felt like you had to fight for this. Like you were going to fight for this to the end. Because you were very satisfied with this. Okay. Huh. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh boy. The hermit. Your person's energy. The five of cups and the devil. This definitely does not feel right. I'm hearing that you both learned something here. Your person... Okay, this is very strange. This is very strange. I've never had a reading like this. Let me make sure that I'm getting this right. Let me check the the combined energies here. Oh, there's that four of wands. Okay, ace of pentacles on your side, ten of pentacles on their side, and the four of wands between the two of you. Okay, all right. 
I didn't know which story in line to go with here. I'm hearing that you both heard something that for you, you wanted to fight for this relationship. Okay, you were not done. I am hearing you were willing to start all over again. And the divine agreed with you that it was okay with this person to go ahead and scratch the past and move forward. But build a solid foundation. With your person here, I'm hearing that whatever they heard, they took it to heart. They had a lot of regrets over what the situation was. And um, it really did kind of wrap them up in chains, keep them held back. They felt restricted, trapped, unable to move forward. With a Ten of Pentacles here, I am going to... I'm hearing that this is about them trying to free themselves from a relationship that they knew was over, but they can't find a way to get out of it. Okay? You both desire to have happy home, happy life, achieve your goal of being able to be together, being happy together, but there is something here, a past marriage, a past commitment, distance, something that's keeping your person away from you, okay? And they are full of regrets because they made this decision themselves. And they see that. They know that. All right, let's see what the current energies are for you. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, which we saw in the pre-shuffle, and the Judgment. Wow. So currently you're trying to maintain an emotional balance here, whether you're male or female does not matter. Okay, this is about the energy of caring, being compassionate, being hurt, trying not to let that show too much, feeling foolish, but also willing to forgive, to let go um, of some sort of conflict here. To kind of like rise above the situation. To be the bigger person. Hmm. You're, oh wow. Your person over here. Is Six of Swords. The Tower. And Justice. Oof. They got a rude awakening about you. They really did. They thought that they were just going to sail away. Just how I'm hearing something about uh, get away with something here. But they got a rude awakening and found out just who you are. So you got the Six of Swords, the Tower, and the Justice card here. They have. In the current energies, you've got the Hanged Man. They've got the Eight of Wands. And then between the two of you, the Lovers. They got hit hard. Their ego got smacked hard here. Um, again, okay, on your side, you've got the hanged man. And what I'm hearing with this is that, uh, okay, so you've got the queen of cups, the five of, of wands, the judgment card here, and then the hangman. Okay, which this is a self-imposed hanging. Okay, so you've chosen to see things from a different perspective. You're trying to gain knowledge. You're trying to gain wisdom. And you're here on the tree of life, okay? So you're really looking at things with compassion, with trying to understand, trying to let go of the way things were, let go of the past, let it be, go with the flow, and change the future, okay? And you end up with this lover's energy here in the middle, which is you feeling in alignment with yourself and your person. Now, your person over here got the Eight of Wands with the Six of Swords, the Tower, and the Justice card here. So I am hearing, it's funny because I don't usually refer, refer to this ever in my readings. I think I've said it maybe three times. In the traditional tarot, 
the arrows were meant to be the arrows of love from Cupid's arrows, okay? So incoming love to your person. <clears throat> I'm hearing it's a peace offering. Like, let's just make peace, okay? And they thought, you know, it would just be an easy matter of moving on, you know, whether with you or past this situation, whatever it is, it's really funky how this is coming out. Um, they're, they get slapped. I'm sorry. They get knocked off their high horse. They get thrown out of the tower balcony. And justice is served here. But they also see you for exactly who you are. And it's almost like they deserved this. And they know that this is what they, this is what they knew they would end up with before they ever did what they did. Let's see what the near future energy is. You have the Six of Wands, Victory, the Chariot, choosing a different direction, and the Empress. Whoa, owning your Empress energy here. So you're victorious. You're elevated. You've got the knowledge that you were seeking. You put it to good use. Now you're elevated. Okay, you're you have risen above whatever you, you've survived a big battle here. Okay, because this person is actually returning from war, having a you know survived the war, also did some strategizing, planning, obviously successful because here they are. This takes your future into a different direction through sheer determination, though. I'm hearing it's neutral, it's all about balance and harmony this is like your energy coming through so i'm hearing you're not moving you're not making a decision to change directions you're staying right where you're at trying to maintain balance harmony i'm also here i keep hearing mother mother you know motherhood mother oh complicated reading here all right, so your person's future energy, strength card, the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, and the Moon card. I'm hearing that this is challenging them, that this is very, like, I'm hearing very draining. It's requiring a lot of strength, a lot of trust, a lot, a lot of trust here. It's requiring a lot of trust. I'm hearing a trust of you, trust with your high, their higher power, trust with the community. There's something still hitting, hit, hidden here, but I'm also getting that this is a very emotional time for your person. Let's see what the, uh, the hermit. That's your energy in the near future. Your person has the Four of Pentacles, and then you have the Four of Swords. There will be a separation here. There will be a separation. You are going to do some soul searching. You're going to look back over this relationship here to really see what it was that you feel you missed. Because you feel like you missed something here. Um... And I, I, oh, the thing you missed is like a red flag, something of that nature, not like a person. Um, your person, though, feels like they've got to hold it together. Like they are really fighting to hold it together. They want to take a break to see if they can gather their strength, their wits, if they can heal from this. They want a fresh start. Um, but they're holding, I'm, I'm getting, they're holding back things from you. That they have been holding secrets. And this may be you charging in, okay, with this Knight of Swords here. This, okay, this, you were feeling good. You felt like this was a dream come true. But there was something that came at you or you went after your person about 
that you were determined to get the answers to. You didn't care how you got those answers. You wanted answers. So your person may have done something here. They may have done something. I, I was thinking, I was hearing that for some of them, they were stuck in a relationship that they could not get out of. And I'm hearing that maybe you found out that they were married and could not ever get out of this relationship. That's a hard way to start a relationship with somebody. And I'm hearing that you've already been dating a while. That you have been together for a while. And this, your person, you know, they were like, they want to be in alignment with you, but they don't understand that they can't get away with this. They, they should have been up front with you right from the beginning, okay? Because you are justice. And they're getting that justice here. Funny, because I'm also hearing that they're they're getting their justice. So if they were involved in a marriage that they were not happy in and they were fighting to get out of this, they are going to get out of this, okay? But they're still going through an unexpected um, awakening, I guess is the only way I can say it. This is just like, I, I don't know what's happening here. I almost feel like two messages are being combined. One good and one not so good. So take this as it resonates. If parts of this make sense, put the other parts that make sense together with it and try to make yourself, you know, if it, if it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, just let this go, okay? I mean the reading. I don't know why I'm getting motherhood here and here. There will be a separation. You two will take a step back. There may be some forgiveness. Um, you may forgive yourself. You may forgive the other person. They may forgive you. Um, but there's definitely going to be a break. Okay, there is going to be a separation, a period where your person is going to hold back. I'm hearing, too, you with this chariot and you not moving. You know you were right. You've survived the battle, but you're not go You're not budging. Which is really weird because usually the chariot is about moving forward, taking action, changing directions. You're not. You're standing firm. You're not moving. And I, I'm, I am strongly hearing again, owning your empress energy. You're in your power. You are in your element. You know who you are. You've got the wisdom. You may take a step back and look for a different path here. A different, you know, here... You're going to look at this past relationship and say, you know, what did I miss? Because I really do feel like you missed a red flag or something here. You know, it's easy enough to do, especially when you have all those high, strong emotions running around. All right, let's go ahead and get you some Oracle messages. Um, I don't want to even try to clarify this because I feel like it's going to get more confusing. If this resonated with you, drop me a comment. Maybe you could explain a little bit about what's going on without going giving us too much details. And please don't bash anybody. You know, like, don't give us their name and say anything bad about them. All right, let's look at the Romance Angels and see what Spirit wants to say using the Romance Angel cards here. We got New Love. Flirt, it's safe for you to love and reconciliation. On here it says that someone from your past is returning to your life. I'm not hearing a reconciliation with this person. Unless it's in the much, you know, in the future, past this one month out. But I'm all, I am hearing, uh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, love, okay? Extend your lighthearted energy to others, and new love is coming in here. So I, I'm, 
I'm hearing that you two are going to be in separation. You may, may not get back together. This is like the future just beyond this break. So you may find a, a way to say, okay, I forgive you. I'm letting this go. And somebody from your past may be coming back around. Doesn't mean that you're going to accept that person back. Okay, it could be this person. It could be somebody different, but it looks like you're going into a new love. Spirit's asking you to open yourself up to someone else, to some sort of new love here, new energy. Let us see what is going on. Anything else here? Using the Romance Angels Spirit. Two more shuffles. Passion and keep an open mind. We've got two more cards here. Uh, three more cards. All right. This is definitely different. Spirit saying that's it with those. Okay. Passion and keep an open mind. So there's a soulmate coming in here for somebody. If you're seeking a new relationship, it looks like your soulmate may differ from your usual type. And that may be because you have finally broken a habit of picking relationships that are the same as what you've been through that never worked out. You're changing that. It looks like there's chemistry between you and this person. Really strong attra attraction. Divine timing is at work, okay? It is at work. So this may be if you decided you wanted somebody new, Spirit's trying to bring it in. I'm hearing that you will really enjoy this new person. It will be fun and exciting. It will be like traveling to foreign lands where you've never been before. And it's because you've never had a relationship of this type. You've always picked the same type of person, same type of situations. And you're finally breaking free from that. Okay. Awesome. Let us see what the uh, Kipper and the uh, Gilded Reverie are going to say for us here. What Spirit wants you to know here. Rolling the dice, taking a chance. Number 39, but that becomes a 12, which is a 3. So you are being divinely guided here, but you're coming into harmony, mind, body, soul. You're coming into some sort of alignment. This must be like some sort of awakening here where you're getting a clarification and understanding of the type of relationships that you've been in in the past and that they don't work for you. Hmm. Interesting. I really don't know what's going on here, and I don't want to. I, I really, I'm sorry, I don't want to clarify this. It's got that kind of energy. Hmm. I like to do uplifting readings and, you know, things that feel good, but the truth comes out, you know. And if this is your reading and it's negative, I, you know, I, I'm sad that this is what's going on. If this actually is a positive reading, because there's a lot of positive cards here, it's not coming across that way, okay? Or is that the red flag that maybe has been missing here? Not being seen? All right. Two more shuffles here, Spirit. Thank you. Oh, see, there's a snake here. There's something that's going to come back to bite you if you're not careful because you're not seeing it. You will avoid it, though. Like, it will come back, but it won't actually be... The bite won't be too horrible, but it'll be enough to wake you up. It will be enough to wake you up, is what I'm hearing from Spirit, okay? You're going to be lucky to avoid this. Like, I'm hearing you're, you'll be dodging a bullet. See, red flags. There's something really minute. It's there. It's magnified. It's right in front of both of you, but you're not admitting it. Okay? And you are. Four, fours are about divine protection. Spirit is protecting you here. So if you've got a situation going on and you feel like there's a red flag that you've been ignoring... Don't ignore it anymore. Get yourself out of this situation. Somebody could be in bad health, stressing. I'm hearing emotional stress over this relationship. 
Yeah. Yep, because you're just so used to being in exactly the same type of relationship. Again, 31 is a four. You are being divinely protected. So I'm hearing if you can get yourself out of this relationship safely, do it. Okay. Anything else here, Spirit, using the uh, Kipper deck? Five. There's a mature man, a father, a grandfather, an older brother, somebody that will help you. Somebody that's around that you can count on. Three. Yeah, see, there's something not right here. There's some sort of bad relationship. Um, a court case is happening here. Somebody's got nothing. They, 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 they've been. I'm hearing that they've been telling you things that's not true. There's change. Yeah. I'm. I just heard that for some of you. You're ticked off here because somebody's been traveling for work, but you find out that it's not work. That, that's just for a couple of you out there specifically. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Do not take that on if that is not your story, please. Please do not take on somebody else's issues. All right, what else do you want to give us here, Spirit? I have not used these in a very long time during my you and them messages or any other message. All right, let's see what the hidden truth is here. What does your spirit, what does spirit want to tell you about this relationship? Two more shuffles, then I'll take the top cards. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. And that's you you needing to know that. My life is not as together as it seems. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I'm hearing that this is like the Nine of Swords energy. Stress. Not a good feeling. And you're happy that you caught this before it got too bad. I heard there's a very strong physical attraction here. What else would you like to tell us? Two more. I wish I could share my good news with you. Ooh. Something's getting wrecked here. I will wait for a sign from you. I know that I crossed the line with you. So again, I'm getting somebody cheated, somebody lied. I don't like going there. I don't like going there, but I've been having this feeling throughout this whole. Look at that. They're not available. It was right there on the bottom of the deck. Urgh, why do people do that? It's so wrong to get involved in somebody else's life if you are not available. Why do that? I, I, I don't know. Healing energy. Healing energy. Definitely trying to heal from this. Tree of life is here. Take a moment to reconnect with your true self. It's time for you to heal the wounds that you might be carrying. Dissolve that stress and replace any negative energy that's blocking your radiant character. Little insecurities can become trigger points, so it may be time to affirm your values and embrace your quirks. 
Sometimes self-examination can be very scary and upsetting, but it can also bring joy and rebirth. Healing deeper scars doesn't mean that the pain or harm never existed, it, but it will no longer control your actions. So see the red flags, admit the red flags, don't hide things, okay? Deal with them, feel the emotions, and move past them. The tree in this card is anchored and is absorbing the energy from the transmutation circle below it. You own the power of your own transformation, and you too can blossom with lush, lush energy, okay? So healing yourself comes from admitting the truth, first of all, and being your true authentic self and acknowledging that you don't want to be in the situation that you've been in. All right, let us roll. We'll do the number die last. Okay. These are alphabet die. There's 26 letters. Whatever comes out, comes out. It's what I hear. It's what I see. It's what I hear sounds, okay? Um, it can be anything. Take it as it resonates. Again, things are being wrecked. I hear somebody's like, wrecks everything. All right, Gandalf, Gabby, Daniel, Demi, Fagan, Vivian, Vance, VJ, Hogan, Baja, William, Wendy, Chewy, like nickname Chewy, like Chewbacca. I can't do that, the sound. Um, Jonathan, India. I'm hearing that as a girl's name, but it could be this, the country. Um, Bi just came out. B-I. All right. Um, mind your P's and Q's. Pay attention to the details. Women. Woven. Zulu. Hazu. Yavan, Igor, Omaha, Ona, Pongo, Paxton, Howard, Haven, Hickory, Hoax, Henry, Helen, Neva, JC, BJ, Jackie, Stu, Tuna, Karen, Bike, Vicky, Vic, Victor. Oh, like a winner. Okay. Under, Eunice, and Isaac. <clears throat> Vans, the sneakers. Ho Ho's, the snacks. Wessex. Toboggan, Tobago, Faux, P-H-O, Unit, Hive, Wix, W-I-X, Claire, Charlie, Clayton, DeLuca, Malachite, St. John's, 
Jikaram, Jikarama, Jik, um, that's what I've got. All right, that's all I've got. Um, let's do the number die. Oh, I forgot to do the Astro, too. And I just threw my number die on the floor here. Oh, somebody's really wrecking everything. <laughs> I don't even know where my number die went. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. I have to be a contortionist. I literally had to bend over all the way. Okay. 1 through 5 is no, 6 through 12 is yes. First answer is an 8, that is a yes. We've got 8, 2, 4, 10. Answer number 2, yes or no, is a 5, that's a high end no. 1, 3, and I can't tell what that number is. Answer number 3, yes or no, that's like... Maybe. That's the first maybe I've had. A change has to happen first. But it does look like this person, you, will come into alignment. But this person's thinking about just themselves. Because you've got 11 over here, and then you've got a 1 over here. All right, so that's a maybe, okay? All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, Channel fans, I feel like I'm missing something here. I don't know what. I'm sorry if I'm missing something. Spirit's not telling me. Let's pull a card to see what you might be missing. I feel like you're missing something here. Don't forget to uh, check the description box, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, I never do extendeds, okay? So you always get the full story whenever you listen to my readings, if you're here new. Um, personal readings, all that information is in the description box. To a sword, see? You're not admitting something here to yourself. You're you're keeping the blinders on willfully. You're choosing you're choosing balance and harmony and peace over truth. See? You're choosing balance and peace and harmony over the truth. Look at that. Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. I'm hearing though that if you face this truth. You will come out ahead in the long run with that Six of Pentacles. All right. I was hoping to get some idea of what it was you were hiding or denying or not seeing. But it's it, it's all because you, you are tra being true to yourself, true to your um, nature of being balanced and harmonious and trying to keep the peace. I'm hearing that that may not be the way to go this time. It's always your choice, of course. All right, but Spirit's trying to guide you here. Four of Pentacles. And it was in the reverse. Time to set yourself free. Yeah, Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Balance, Two of Pentacles. Yep. That's what Spirit's saying for some of you. Okay? Set yourself free. I'm just giving you the message. You do what you want. Love, peace, and happiness. Bye-bye.